Hi, kids. You're about to hear a Christmas story that's never been told before. It happened, oh, not too many years ago, along about when your parents were children like you. It was shivery cold and blustery at the North Pole that night, years ago. It was the night before Christmas Eve. Santa Claus was in his bed, all covered up. With him was Robbie, his chief elf. Let's pretend we were there. Oh, me, oh, my. This is the worst cold I've ever had in my life, Robbie. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, bless you, Santa. Sure, and I wish there was something I could do. But don't forget, I warned you not to go swimming with the polar bears. I swear, Santa, sometimes you act just like a little boy. Oh, I know I should have done better, but I did promise the bears I'd take part in their winter carnival. But please don't give me a lecture now, Robbie. We've got a big problem. How can I? How can I? How? Huh? <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you, Santa. Thank you, Robbie. B but the children, Robbie, how can I go out tomorrow night and deliver their toys with a cold like this? Well, Santa, I guess it's up to me, as your chief elf, to find a way to get those toys delivered. And I will, too, for my name isn't Robert Edward Michael Callahan. Yes, Robbie, I know. I'll never get over what a strange name you have for an elf, or the funny way you talk. Oh, no, wait a minute, Santa. Have I ever said anything about your name? I mean, after all, Santa Claus? And as for the way I talk, well, I am a leprechaun, you know. All right, Robbie. I'm sorry. It's this cold. It's got me so grouchy. Why, well, I don't even know if I can... Ho, 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 Oh, there, Santa, it's all right. You just take your medicine and get a good night's sleep. Robbie will think of something. You'll see. Oh, I hope so, Robbie. I hope so. <sighs> good night. Good night, Santa. And don't worry. Get, get up and get dressed. It's Christmas Eve. I've done it. Your troubles are over. The kids will get their toys after all. Santa, look what I've got for you. But, 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 Robbie, that's only a blanket. How is a blanket going to keep me warm flying through the sky in that cold sleigh? Aha, I'll tell you how. You'll keep warm because this is an electric blanket. And an electric blanket? What is an electric blanket? Well, it's my own invention, Santa. You see this little cord? You simply plug it into the electricity like this, and little wires inside heat up the whole blanket. We'll wrap you in it, and you'll be snug and warm during your whole trip tonight. Well, well, gosh, Robbie, it sounds like it might work. Oh, but I don't have any electricity in my sleigh. How will... Ah, but, 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 Santa, you've got that all figured out. As you're making your stops, you can borrow some electricity, warm up your blanket, and then deliver more toys. When the blanket cools off, borrow some more electricity, and keep going. I know the folks will let you plug into their electricity and borrow a little, considering what you're doing for their kids and all. Well, I'll be. Robbie, you saved the day. Christmas Day, that is. The children will get their toys after all, and... Oh no, Robbie, I just thought of something. The people in the cities have lots of electricity for my blanket. But what about the people in the country? Hardly any of them have electricity. How will I warm up my blanket? I'll freeze. How will I deliver toys to the children in the country? Quick now, kids. Play the other side of the record. Find out what happened.